Hello everyone, we are starting our video tour of 2700 Sand Hill Road in Auburn, Alabama, right here on the front porch. It's such a beautiful view from the front. Uh, this is a little over five acres of property. We're going to get to see the backyard in a little bit, but I wanted you to see we have a nice spacious front porch where we can have uh, rocking chairs, have our morning coffee, a cocktail in the evening. So it's just a really great place to come and decompress. So here we go. We're going to start here in the foyer as you can see. Uh, it opens into a couple of rooms. There are um, great closets of storage sort of throughout the entire house. They're deep. <laughs> There's a lot going on with each of these. So let's start off by going into the sunken den. It is a beautiful vaulted room. You can see that this room has a lot to offer. We have windows that see out into the backyard, which you're going to get to see a little bit later, but a lot of great natural light. There are built-in bookshelves for all of your books or knickknacks. And it leads right onto the sun porch, which I absolutely love. Lots of natural light. Uh, this is a heated and cooled space, so you get to enjoy it year round. It leads to a back patio, so you can come out here and easily grill from out here. You can get a glimpse of this beautiful backyard. You can see there's a large shop in the backyard, which we'll view in a separate tour. There's a fenced-in area if you have pets that you'd like to keep outside but pinned, or small children, <laughs> sometimes uh, both are needed. All right, so let's go back inside and see what else we have. So, back here in the sunroom, you can see where we just came from, the den. And then this leads us into another space. It's a multi-purpose space. We can also see the kitchen from here. So the kitchen has um, all your standard stainless steel appliances. And then we get a glimpse of our multi-purpose space right here. Um, some might use this as a dining space. You certainly can use it as another den. Um, it too is vaulted. So you get a really good uh, sense of space and height in this room. It could be uh, a playroom so you can cook while your children are playing or your grandchildren are playing. Um, you can use it as an office space. Like I said, a dining space. There's just a lot of uses for this. Okay. Then off of the kitchen area, we have the garage. Again, I'm going to point out some nice storage all along the way. Before we go into the garage, there are two spaces that can be used. This one, we have our safe in. We have a space here. Um, for storage, we have a large pantry right off your kitchen. So that is a great space use of storage. Then right across the hall, so to orient you, we're, we're still off this main hall where the kitchen was. This is our laundry space. So built in ironing board. This is where your washer and dryer can go. 
We have a closet back here. Again, more shelving space. So if you like to stock up, you are in luck. And then there's a little bonus space off of this area. I love it. Um, you can use it as a, as a craft room, a hobby room. You've got lower cabinetry and then upper shelving with a nice workspace all the way around. So a lot of uses for this room. Okay, now we'll go back through to the garage. So great two car garage space. Again, we've got natural light. So if you're in here working on your car, it's wonderful. You have access from the outside, which is nice. And again, more storage. This house is storage in abundance. So um, we've got it down one side and then to the other. So great storage in this house. Okay. Now let's make our way down the hallway so we can see the bedrooms. So again, to orient you, we've got our kitchen, we've got our eating space, bonus space, we've got the foyer where we came in the front door, we've got the den, sunken den, all right, and now we're seeing our first bedroom. So lovely big bay window, A nice size closet. We have a Jack and Jill bathroom, which is nice. So we have um, another bedroom across that way. But just to give you a good viewing of this room, with the hallway, good size closet, bathroom. Bay window all the way back around to your hallway. And if there's any part of this tour that you'd like to see a little bit more of, then you can just let me know and I'm happy to come to the house and focus on um, specific aspects that you want to see. So into the Jack and Jill, we have a nice linen closet. Again, lots of deep shelves in this house. I love those. Towels, blankets. We have a double sink with cabinetry and a place where you could put a chair for a vanity if you wanted to do your makeup or just sit and hang out in the bathroom. <laughs> um, commode. Shower. So it's a sh nice shower insert with a glass sliding door. Okay. So again, that first bedroom we were in. All right, now we're gonna take a look at a second bedroom. The windows through the house show the great view all the way around this house. There's just not a, a window with a bad view in this house. There are two closets in here. So that's nice for a great amount of storage. All right, now let's make our way we're back to the hallway, and across the hall is the master. All right, so in the master, again, great light, great views. So your view from your master is your backyard. It is beautiful. We've got three closets in the master. Um, we have one that's all shelving which is you know, great for handbags, shoes, um, blankets, whatever you have 
And then there are two separate hanging closets, just like in the last bedroom. And then we have our master bathroom where you're going to get a little peek of me. Hello. So we have double vanities again, nice large mirror, and again, a huge closet with deep, deep shelves. So that is a fantastic. Bit of storage and then we have the shower very similar to the one in the Jack and Jill um, so we have that insert with the glass door and then your commode is just tucked in right there so so both Bedrooms that are attached, excuse me, bathrooms that are attached to bedrooms have uh, double sinks, which is really nice. So if we go back to our main hallway, which is really the thoroughfare, if you will, um, I'm at one end uh, where I'm flanked by the master bedroom and bedroom number two here. All the way down is the garage. So you really can access everything from this one hallway. So um, the last bit here to see, there's a half bath here off the hallway. So very similar to the other ones. There is a toilet tucked in behind the, uh, trying to get creative here. Yep, there we go. <laughs> All right. So uh, this is the tour of the inside of the house. I'm going to be doing a second tour of the gigantic workshop next. So please join me for that one. And uh, if you'd like any information, I'd love for you to contact me. Mona Hurston, 334-303-1197.